Hello, 9th standard, CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Now, we are going to do video number 2, chapter 5, the fundamental unit of life, part 2. <coughs> Yesterday, we have seen part 1, fundamental unit of life. We have said about the introduction and uh, prokaryotic cell, sorry, cell is a structural and functional unit and then about the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, then characteristic feature are the salient features of prokaryotic cell, <coughs> is it not? Then cell theory proposed to by Schleiden and Schwann and uh, Rudolf Wacho as cell is the structural and functional unit of life and cell is uh, arising from cells are from pre-existing one that we have learned. Is it not? And then as unicellular and multicellular organisms. I hope you understand that. Hmm? Now today we are going to do chapter same lesson continuation chapter 5 fundamental unit of life part 2. This is our video number 2. I hope you understand. Hmm? So that please you follow this uh, video session carefully and uh, today we are going to do about the uh, cell stuck sorry cell wall and cell membrane structure and function and it has some concept where you need to understand better and you should understand the concept thoroughly only then you can learn further with the cell membrane and cell structure sorry now as this, uh, as usual, just for introduction, I have given this uh, presentation as parts of the cell, that cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, vacuole, plastic, centrosome, lysosome, mitochondria, Golgi body and endoplasmic reticulum. Now this cell wall, it is characteristic of plant cell whereas in animal cell it is only cell membrane that we have done already that I don't go in detail further right now again this is our ultra structure of a plant cell where it is giving definite shape and then and uh, nucleus with the nuclear membrane nucleolus and chromatin reticulum and other cell organelles as I said what? Cell organelles are membrane bound structure present within the cytoplasm. Is it not? So now this uh, mitochondria, Golgi body, chloroplast, ribosome, uh, either endoplasmic reticulum. Under that we have rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum with the ribosomes they are all called rough endoplasmic reticulum. Yeah. So, you know the details when they separate up as uh, structure and function of these cell organelles. We will continue learning in further video session. Okay. So, now first cell membrane. Please listen carefully and uh, have the notebook if you want for further details to be noted. Sorry. Now, the cell membrane. It is also known as plasma membrane or plasma lemma. Cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane or plasma lemma. And the content of a cell is enclosed by a membrane called plasma membrane as it is found in all living cells. At the same time, in plant cell, outer to that is a rigid definite cell wall is present. Chariya. Then in the cell membrane, it acts as a barrier and helps the substance inside a cell to remain concentrated. Barrier na, or a protective layer. Chariya. It acts as a barrier and helps the substances inside a cell to remain concentrated. And the cell membrane, it is made up of bilayer or double layer of phospholipids in which proteins and carbohydrate molecules are arranged. What do you understand? Phospholipid 
phosphate and lipid molecules together as double layer as phospholipid. So, this uh, cell membrane, it is made up of bilayer or double layer of phospholipid in which protein and carbohydrate molecules are arranged. In the next uh, further presentation, the diagram is cut. Now, the functions, <coughs> it provides an outer boundary to the cell and protects it from injury. It controls the substances that are allowed to enter and exit the cell and it regulates uh, this uh, entry and exit of the cell. So, it is called selectively permeable membrane. That is why a cell is cell membrane is also described as a selectively permeable membrane. Okay, so one of the functions of plasma membrane we say it provides outer boundary to the cell and protects it from injury. It controls the substances that are allowed to enter and exit of the cell and this regulation is called selective permeability and that is why the cell membrane is also described as selectively permeable membrane. Parshalama. So, this is introduction for the cell membrane. Structure in a particular, it is as double layer or bilayer of phospholipids. Phospholipid na phosphate and lipid molecules. Lipid molecule, nothing but fatty substances. Are you clear? Huh? So, this is the structure and function. There are two points and the plasma membrane or cell membrane or plasma lemma monome or name is also forming a selectively permeable membrane. Okay. Now the same way cell wall <coughs> cell wall when the, it is in plant cell. Okay. Now the cell wall in addition to plasma membrane plant cell is having a cell wall around it. In addition to plasma membrane, plant cell is having a cell wall and it gives definite shape. Cell wall is found around the plasma membrane, outside the plasma membrane, the cell wall and it is made up of <coughs> cellulose and lignin. It is somewhat hard and rigid in nature, yeah? so it is made up of cellulose and lignin. Okay. And the lignin is water resistant. In aquatic plants, water And then <coughs> it is having a cell, it is a cell wall material. So, cell wall is made up of cellulose and lignin. And lignin is water resistant. And what is the function? Cell wall provides rigidity, protection and support to a plant cell. And prevents it from collapsing. Why is so the collapsing? For a very big uh, tree, which is the tallest tree in Chalola, the sequoia tree in Chalola, pinus, and the very tallest tree, le, due to heavy wind or due to storm, the marala middle, rumbum tanga mulana, it falls down. Le. So it is protecting from collapsing. Which one? The cell wall, it provides rigidity, protection and support to a plant cell and prevents it from collapsing. Cell wall is slightly elastic and its combined strength helps both small and tall trees to maintain their shape even when they sway away in strong wind. Sway away in the car. So, I repeat, cell wall is slightly elastic. And its combined strength helps both small plants and tall trees maintaining their shape even when they sway away in strong wind. Are you clear? Cell wall in a young cell is called primary cell wall. And it is much thinner and more elastic than those found in older cells and allows the young cell to grow. Normal cell wall the plant cell number first part it has outer three layers. The three layers outer primary wall, middle layer is called middle lamella, and inner to that is the secondary 
cell wall layer. And normally the secondary cell wall is very thicker in nature. <clears throat> okay. So when a cell stops growing, the primary wall becomes thicker and develops a new layer between it and the plasma membrane. This is the secondary cell wall and it has more lignin than the cell, primary cell wall. So here secondary cell wall is formed between plasma membrane and the primary cell wall and it has more secondary cell wall material as lignin. Then the cell wall plays an important role in the transfer of materials between the cells. That is called plasmodesmator. I will just explain. It is called plasmodesmator. The vascular connection, the cell wall connection between one cell to the other, it is known as plasmodesmator. Okay. The next one, it is uh, the cell membrane as it is uh, Having the transport facilities, here it is given in our textbook, it is not in the Okay, so some substances like carbon dioxide, which is a cellular waste and requires to be excreted out by the cell, accumulates in high concentration inside the cell. As I say, cell wall, it is meant for transport cellular or it is meant for movement of molecules in and out of the cell. This plasma membrane, it has to function, right? First, substances like carbon dioxide. How does it come? Carbon dioxide is a cellular waste and requires to be exerted out, excreted out by the cell which is accumulating in high concentration inside the cell. Okay. In the cell's external environment, rather outside the cell, the concentration of carbon dioxide is low as compared to the cell inside. <coughs> okay. So as soon as there is difference in concentration of carbon dioxide in and outside the cell, Carbon dioxide moves out of a cell. So it is from a region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. And this process is called diffusion. Okay. So normal <coughs> plasma membrane, it takes three physical phenomena. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. It takes three physical phenomena. One is diffusion. Second one, uh, osmosis and third one, imbibition. Okay. Now, imbibition, it is just swelling up of the cell wall. Whereas, diffusion, it is the movement of molecules from one region, uh, sorry, from one region to the other, we say, otherwise from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. And this diffusion may be between... <coughs> The diffusion may be between two liquids or two gases. For that I gave an example yesterday that when you just spray perfume in a room, room spray potent, we get that nice smell, is it not? So that is plus diffusion. I hope you understand. So here this carbon dioxide when it is of more concentration inside the cell, it diffuses out through the cell membrane and then as it is lower concentration in the outside the cell, otherwise external medium. And this process is called diffusion. <coughs> okay. Same way, oxygen, when enter the cell by the process of diffusion, when the level or concentration inside decreases. oxygen carbon dioxide exchange. So we see exchange of gases in plants and animals. It is by a simple phenomenon that is called diffusion. What is the definition you will write? Movement of molecules from higher concentration to the lower concentration. 
Chere? Another simple experiment I showed you yesterday as <coughs> you take a beaker with the water, then just add a drop of red ink. Now red ink will be ink plus that solution. Yeah. So it is of higher concentration. Water is of lower concentration. So the ink will spread slowly making the water red color solution. So this is a simple diffusion process. I hope you understand. Huh? So this diffusion plays important role in gaseous exchange. The cells as well as the cell and its external environment. Are you clear? Huh? This is the explanation given in our textbook. So please go through it for a second. You should know the definition for diffusion. I hope you understand. Huh? The next one, this uh, first process, diffusion. The next one, it is osmosis. As water also obeys the law of diffusion. Water is also obeying the law of diffusion as movement of water molecule through selectively permeable membrane. Normal of the cell membrane we cover, we are naming it as selectively permeable membrane. Yeah? So the movement of water molecule through such selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis. Okay. The movement of water across plasma membrane is also affected by the amount of substance dissolved in water. So osmosis is the passage of water from a region of water concentration through semi-permeable membrane <coughs> from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration to a semi-permeable membrane. Chere? Now the, what, the picture that you are seeing is called potato osmoscope experiment. We have this for the practicals also. So please understand clearly. Hmm? The potato osmoscope First, you take a beaker with the water, <coughs> color water. Let's go. Hmm? Take a beaker with the water and then you take a big potato, a little big potato, scrap it. The bottom on the put a, a flat bottom, up, you please scrap it. And then in the center of the potato, you just hollow it out. The cavity mari hollow a cut panel. Hmm? So that potato with the flat bottom and a hollowed cavity, it is called potato osmoscope. At this time, we name this potato as potato osmoscope. Chariya? Then you keep this potato in the colored water. In the cavity, you take 5% sugar solution. In the cavity, shallow cavity of the potato, you take 5% sugar solution. I hope you understand. Huh? Then, you have a pin like this as given in the figure. And note the initial level of the sugar solution. Leave the experiment set up for some time. Then, you will observe. What have we to observe? You have to note out. What will you observe? It is observed as... The level of sugar solution increases as water is of lower concentration, sugar is of higher concentration. So, and the potato osmoscope is a living membrane, acts as a semi-permeable membrane. So, that is osmosis. Actually, in the definition, when the region of higher concentration to lower the portal, the actual one, the higher concentration with reference to energy level. That one, in our book, the CBC book, we have missed it. Actual osmosis is from lower concentration to higher concentration through semi-permeable membrane. So, level of sugar solution will be increasing. I hope you understand. So, in the figure, when you are asked to write an experiment, what will you write? Aim to demonstrate 
osmosis through a living membrane using potato osmoscope. Note paniko if you want. Aim to demonstrate osmosis through a living membrane using potato osmoscope. Edit it. Yeah? Hmm? Then materials needed. Beaker, potato, water, 5% sugar solution and pin. Repeat. Beaker, water, 5% sugar solution, potato and pin. Noted. Hmm? Then you will write the procedure or the method. First you take a beaker, fill it with water. It may be a colored water also. Then you take a potato, make a bottom of the potato as a flat portion. Then in the middle you make a you scoop out na chalwa. Hollow it out chalwa lana scoop a C O O P E. Scoop out a cavity in the center of the potato. And leave the potato in the colored water. And pour add this 5% sugar solution in the shallow cavity. And make a pin the initial level of the sugar solution. Observe the changes. What observation? The level of sugar solution is increased or raised. Okay. So, what is the inference? That as the level of sugar solution increase, it is observed that what the water, sorry, movement of water molecule from the region of lower concentration to the higher concentration through a semi-permeable membrane is observed. That is the inference. Okay. I repeat. Normal in the modern children. In our book, we have region of higher water concentration to region of lower water concentration. Sugar is the sugar solution to higher water concentration. Sugar plus higher water concentration. So, region of higher water concentration to the region of lower water concentration. Sugar plus water is the higher water concentration. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, this is a potato osmoscope experiment to prove osmosis. I hope you understand. Hmm? The next one, the cell membrane. What is it? Cell membrane. How is the structure of the cell membrane related to its function? Okay. So, now you see the diagram. Structure of a cell membrane. The yellow color part is the phospholipid bilayer. Yellow color and the yellow chain is the necklace. That is the phospholipid bilayer. So, in the Nadu, the phospholipid bilayer is the YYR. Can you? That is movement. This is protein. Carbohydrate and protein molecules. That is why we the reference. Just understand. Now here you will just see this phospholipid bilayer. Inside cell of cytoplasm. This is inside cell of cytoplasm. This is outside the cell. Where is outside cell? We have the on and peel cheek cell we are studying, is it not? There are 2-3 cells. I hope you understand. So, this is a cell, this is a cell. Now, when we talk about this movement here, cytoplasm and this is cool. I hope you understand. That is the arrow mark actually. In this cell, this is cool. This is the cell. You have to represent it by arrow mark. Show it by arrow mark. So now, all cell membranes have similar basic structure. Proteins suspended in double layer of phospholipid. Protein suspended in double layer of phospholipid. In protein, they are responsible for selectively exchanging substance. 
communicating with environment and controlling biochemical reaction and forming connection between the cells. I hope you understand. Hmm? Whereas phospholipid, it is responsible for isolating cell content. <coughs> responsible for isolating. <coughs> One minute. Isolating cell content. <coughs> so this is for how the cell structure is responsible. Cell membrane is responsible. Even in main apartment is only the yellow chain marine necklace will the chain put the end layer as a phospholipid by layer. <coughs> right? The next one. It is about diffusion or exchange of substances between cells and their environment. If you look at the detail, what is it? Materials are constantly exchanged between cytoplasm and external environment across the plasma membrane by different process. Different process the pandemic as passive and active transport so this transport across the membrane may be passive or active Chariya? passive transport happens <coughs> when a movement moves across from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration as i said it involves three physical phenomena diffusion osmosis and imbibition Chariya? Imbibition uh, just a swelling of the soaking of the cell wall or other cell wall and cell membrane. But a simple diffusion movement of molecules from higher concentration to the lower concentration. Okay. Whereas osmosis movement of high water concentration to the lower water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. These three are passive transport. Whereas, osmosis, simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion are examples of passive movement of molecule. During simple diffusion, molecular gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide enter the cell through plasma membrane without the help of any intermediary element. I hope you understand. So, this is for the diagram when it is represented. See here, this is called phagocytosis and here it is phenocytosis. Now, this solid particle, big solid particle, when it is entering the plasma membrane, it forms a small projection internally. It is called in pushing of the cell or invagination of the cell. Okay. So, this solid particle by in pushing or invagination of the cell, it is entering inside the plasma membrane. And this solid particle, a big particle when it is entering, this is called phagocytosis. Whereas, when the small uh, particles, when they are entering, the same in pushing of the cell is taking place and that is called pinocytosis. Phagona large molecule, pinona smaller molecules. Okay. So, this is by <coughs> the movement between the cell membrane. Sorry. So, this is outside the cell membrane. This is inner to the cell membrane cytoplasm. So, cytoplasm within the nugget, it is in pushing or invagination. Whereas, when it is sending outside, na, it is called evagination. Okay, that is called evagination. You just understand pinocytosis, phagocytosis inside the cytoplasm when it is moving to the outer. Okay, so just go through for a second the diagram phagocytosis, 
spinocytosis. I hope you understand. Hmm? The next one, as, <coughs> see here. It is in our textbook. You have to understand carefully what will happen if we put an animal cell or plant cell into a solution of sugar or salt in water. I repeat, what will happen if we put an animal cell or a plant cell into a solution of sugar or salt in water? Is a careful upper. One of the following should occur. First one, if the medium surrounding the cell has a higher water concentration than the cell, then outside cell is very dilute. The cell will gain water by osmosis. And such a solution, it is called hypotonic solution. When it is of less concentration, it is called hypotonic solution. I repeat, if the medium surrounding the cell has higher water concentration than the cell, meaning this outside cell is very dilute, then the cell will gain water by osmosis. Clear? So, such a solution is known as hypotonic solution. Right? Whereas water molecules are free, free to pass across the cell membrane in both the direction. In and out of the cell, water molecules can move. At the same time, more water will come into the cell than it leaves. Yeah. It is as hypotonic. So, it has to enter in. So, the net result is water enters the cell and the cell is likely to swell up. This is turgidity. When the cell swells up with the content full, it is called turgid. The cell becomes turgid. If the medium has exactly same water concentration as the cell, there is a there will not be no movement of water across the cell. It is known as isotonic solution. I the highlight panavitita note panigo. If the concentration is of equal in both the side, in and outside the cell, it is called isotonic solution. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, what is the uh, first one? Medium surrounding the cell has higher water concentration than the cell. Above it is hypotonic. When the water concentration is equal, it is said to be isotonic solution. Okay. So, water across the cell membrane in both the direction, but amount going is same as amount of going out. Then there is no overall movement of water so the cell the cell will stay in the same size i hope you understand hmm? so we come across hypotonic and isotonic solution the experiment on the textbook you have to try it so there are question what will happen if we put an animal cell or plant cell into a solution of sugar or water, <coughs> sugar or salt. So, first one, the, if concentration is less, it is said to be hypotonic. Concentration equal, na, it is said to be isotonic solution. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, we, we learn two technical terms. One is hypotonic, another one as Isotonic. Now, third one we come across as if the medium has lower concentration of water than the cell, that is the very uh, that is it is very concentrated solution. The cell will lose water by osmosis. Such a solution is known as hypertonic solution. So I repeat. If the medium has lower concentration of water, external medium, than the cell, meaning it is very, it is a very concentrated solution, then cell will lose water by osmosis. 
such a solution is known as hypertonic solution okay again water across the membrane in both the direction but this time more water leaves the cell than enters it therefore the cell will shrink okay so thus osmosis is a special case of diffusion through a selectively permeable membrane right so we come across three terms technical term hypotonic isotonic and hyper tonic if concentration is less outside than inside then water will move so it is by osmosis so it is hypotonic and then equal concentration no movement of water or the cells of it is isotonic if the medium has lower concentration of water than the cell it is very concentrated solution the cell will lose water by osmosis such a solution is known as hypertonic i hope you understand idha marudi inda or beaker la nama cup de kaamchen le potato osmoscope and the mari you just understand and the cube la kuduthirke with that you will understand so the next one ye par hypertonic ஹைப்பர்டானிக்ல ஹைப்பர்னா ஓவர் ஜாஸ்தியா இருக்கிறது ஹைப்பர் லெஸ்ஸா இருக்கிறது ஹைப்போ தட் யூ பிளீஸ் ரிமெம்பர் தட் ஹைப்பர்டானிக் மீன் தர் இஸ் அ ஹையர் சொல்யூட் கான்சென்ட்ரேஷன் ஆன் தி அவுட் சைட் ஆஃப் த செல் தேன் ஆன் த இன்சைட் த செல் ஓகே இங்கே கொடுத்துருக்கிறது வந்து இன்சைட் த செல் இட் இஸ் 20% பர்சன்ட் சொல்யூட் எயிட்டி பர்சன்ட் வாட்டர் ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இன்சைட் த செல் இது ஒரு செல் சரியா இதுல இந்த செல்லுல ட்வெண்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் சொல்யூட் அதுன்னா சொல்யூட் சால்வெண்ட் உனக்கு தெரியல அண்ட் சால்வெண்ட் வந்து வாட்டர் இல்லையா ஸோ ட்வெண்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் சொல்யூட் எயிட்டி பர்சன்ட் வாட்டர் செல்லுக்குள்ள வெரஸ் அவுட் சைட் த செல் இது ஒரு செல் பச்சை லைன் போட்டு இல்லையா கிரீன் அது வந்து ஒரு செல் outside that it is 40% solute 60% water i hope you understand so it is said to be hypotonic means higher solute concentration higher solute concentration on the outside cell higher solute concentration outside the cell na it is 40% here chariya and on the inside cell idhula vandu 20% da within the cell it is only 20% solute concentration whereas it is 40% solute concentration outside the cell so in this beaker containing water alone the within the green color it is inside the cell outside vandu outside the cell so okay so hypotonic mean there is higher solute concentration on the outside of the cell than on the inside of the cell so please understand clearly so here it is given very clearly okay so hyper na over or jaasti ya now here we have all the three hypertonic isotonic and hypotonic the within the circle is a cell above strength cholro this is same strength this is below strength this diagram explains clearly understand so higher concentration of dissolved substance in the solution so idile vande higher to lower varudhu in the arrow mark kamichirukanga illa above strength whereas isotonic vande equal strength and uh, hypo tonic when the lower concentration of dissolved substance in solution in the very low end is that the arrow marker should understand that are you clear hmm? so now hypotonic greater concentration of solute inside than outside so it will have the greater concentration and what happens to cell in this environment na water goes into the cell so inge rendu water goes into the cell and hypertonic greater concentration outside the cell 
so water leaves the cell and cell will get shrivel up and dehydrate adu vandu hypertonic whereas isotonic it is of equal strength i hope you understand in the diagram all clear a irukke venna pass panni please understand the concept hypotonic isotonic and hypertonic solution are clear the next one definition par idha vandu nee wait panni alla potu note panni vechuko okay so types of solution hypotonic contain less solute more water compared to another solution and water diffuses across a semi permeable membrane out of hypotonic solution illana or egg irukke example undu egg vechirukke na next concentrate pandren so water diffuses across a semi permeable membrane out of hypotonic solution it goes into the egg whereas hypertonic contain more solute less water outside the cell compared to another solution so water diffuses across the semi permeable membrane into a hypertonic solution sorry then isotonic two solutions have same concentration so equal amount of water so net no net movement of water across the semi permeable membrane so idla paaru hypotonic and osmotic nu solru hypo osmotic hyper osmotic and iso osmotic i hope you understand hmm? inge paaru water cell expands hypo la vandu cell expands are clear cell expands hypola hyperla cell shrinks ulla rendu velila pora hypola velila rendu velil outside medium la rendu cell ku la varudhu hyper rendu ulla rendu velila pora seri and isola equal ah irukke now this hypertonic vandu we learn another process called plasmolysis plasmolysis when the protoplasm shrinks away from the cell membrane the process or phenomenon is called plasmolysis adu na adhu solli tharen seriya so this types of solution konjam confuse pannama slow a oru oru step a konjam are you clear uh, so this is for types of solution the next one we have activity in our textbook 5.3 clear and you are given an egg uh, remove the shell of an egg by dissolving it in dilute hydrochloric acid remove the shell of an egg by dissolving it in dilute hydrochloric acid okay the shell is mostly of calcium carbonate illa the hence egg or shell vandu formed of calcium carbonate so a thin outer skin now encloses the egg now put the egg in pure water and observe after 5 minutes now we are just checking osmosis with an egg okay so i repeat remove the shell of an egg by dissolving it in dilute hcl the shell is mostly calcium carbonate so now a thin outer skin now encloses the egg shell remove panto so a thin outer covering alone is there hmm? now put this egg in water pure water and observe the changes you will observe the egg swells because water passes into it by osmosis potato paninola potato osmosis ko aduk badil egg vechirukku and unak i hope the coloring unak puriyadhu nenikiren marandu pe na green putten i am not under 
observed it carefully so the x swells because water passes into it by osmosis I remember potato osmoscope panel adhe da idu right now place a similar d shell the egg d shell the egg na <coughs> in a concentrated salt solution and observe for 5 minute adile vande the egg shrinks and water passes out of the egg solution into the salt solution because salt solution is more concentrated okay so place a similar d shell the egg in a concentrated salt solution and observe for 5 minute the egg shrinks because water passes out of the egg solution into the salt solution and as salt is more concentrated one minute when salt is more concentrated that is our activity 5.3 sorry place a similar dissolved in a concentrated salt solution what happens Okay, so this is one minute. Go through it. So we are learning osmosis with the egg. One of them is removing the shell. Another one, de-shell egg. Are you clear? So this is <coughs> activity five point three. The next one we have five point four activity where. Dried resin, resin and the Christmas plant chalo le, adhe. Or dried apricot. Adle namma the same uh, osmosis can be tried. Okay, so activity given in our textbook. I know le. So put dried resins or apricot in plain water and leave them for some time. Then place them into a concentrated solution of sugar or salt. And you will observe the following. In a lump, each gains water and swells when placed in pure water. First step: each gains water and swells when placed in pure water. Okay. Then, when placed in concentrated solution, it loses water and consequently shrinks. unicellular freshwater organism and most plant cell tend to gain water through osmosis absorption of water by plant root is also an example of osmosis correct okay. thus diffusion is an important process for exchange of gases and water in the life of a cell i hope you understand hmm? so in addition to this the cell also obtains nutrients from its environment i hope you are able to follow this this is for cell membrane or plasma membrane or plasma lemma function are you clear hmm? so i'd like to have homework as two activities you please try to do one is <coughs> resin this uh, kismis panathla adha nama veetlaye pannalam or chinna handful of uh, kismis panam edu or nama veetla plate irukum le and the plate la or spoon sugar pore potu inda kismis panatha potu just absorb huh? so you will just understand the process of osmosis are you clear this activity alone you please it activity 5.4 apriya edittu and the kismis panna panna porayla or bowl mari and kismis panna potu and the diagram the edi me i hope you understand so in the activity ne panni na vand lend before we go for summer vacation i am going to zoom class varala appa i will ask you to show this activity and that was when in class work you have to note down okay that i will see i hope you understand huh? so this is our <coughs> video number 2 with the chapter 
fundamental unit of life part 2 this is video number 2 i hope you understand hmm? so this video number 2 it has more explanation where you have to understand the concept of the three phenomena especially osmosis and uh, diffusion third one is imbibition where roots absorb water from the soil water and mineral salts from the soil through the root has swelling. Yeah. So the root has first it imbibes swelling of the root has cell wall and then through the osmosis it absorbs water. So we come across three terms diffusion, osmosis and imbibition and one more as uh, plasmolysis where this is uh, hypertonic solution that is shrinking away from the cell wall. I hope you understand. Hmm? So we, under, we do this uh, video session number 2 with the con function of plasma membrane. It is a very important topic. So please understand carefully. Right? Now so now the three slides are on the konjo pass panni Purumaya, go through panni, note panni go. I hope you follow this. Huh? So have a good day. We will continue in the next video session. Right? Thank you.